What's going on guys? Welcome to another week ahead video. The markets are wild and so let's jump right into it. We talked last week about the VIX, one of two possibilities, and it was a tough week to trade, right? But the VIX ended up holding the EMA, the 21 day EMA here, um, and it tested it every single day this week. It tried to break out, but it, it ultimately on Friday closed this evening star pattern. Pendulum went red again. So now, I mean, that means the VIX has opened up the door to come down and retest the lows right here, which means this could be another bullish week or neutral to bullish week in the stock market. Okay. This ultimately, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six days, it attempted to test this level, which is an important level because this is the gap down, right? This is the gap down and then acted as resistance for six days in a row. It would not get filled. We got through NVIDIA earnings. Uh, we got through everything we needed to get to um, get through, right? We got through election, NVIDIA earnings, a lot of news in the Middle East, and this is ultimately rejecting. So if this comes down now, which it looks likely to do, I'm leaning neutral towards bullish for this week that being said we'll start with uh crypto real quick you know there's a, there's the sell wall at 100k and for now it's holding right it had that first retest of the 21 it was going to attempt to test 100k again but ultimately that rejected and we closed below the ema we should have expected that if you read the momentum because on this down candle right here the jma turned red when we got a fresh red tag we expect lower lows we got lower lows looks like this current candle is being bought up though so you never know you know even sundays can be wild in crypto maybe it's going to get bought up and we're just going to hold this level right here and we're going to keep trading in this range until we break and close to one side for now we haven't closed below um, we'll see what happens two hours 40 minutes left in that candle moving on uh to gold here gold continues to fly now we just had some news and this broke through the 618 so very very bullish week for gold this is the four hour let's take a look at the daily chart you can see that breakout right just a strong move ever since we had this shade flip candle on the daily okay strong move back above the moving averages and gold is just unstoppable right now it's got a lot going for it whether that is inflation middle east safety uh you know flight to safety interest rate coming down so the premium or the risk premium the risk reward opportunity cost of holding gold goes down but look at the weekly that was a test of the weekly 21 ema and we haven't tested it since february and a strong response from the buyers this looks very likely to hit all-time highs here in the coming weeks before the end of the year okay i saw a headline that china just discovered like a new gold reserve with like 89 billion or i don't know what worth of gold take that with a grain of salt i'm not sure anything that comes out of china who knows okay um silver kind of lagging here you guys know i'm involved in a long here um, i already explained this on friday's video so go check that out basically head and shoulders beautiful divergence you can see in the jorbit you can see in the jupu and then this right shoulder is this kind of bullish rectangle bullish um, pennant okay we came down to the 618 fib we held that and uh you know i'm just looking for the break and close above 3140 and i can probably add to that position um the targets are going to be the top of this channel we can draw a fibonacci extension as well and capture this entire move and set up some targets like so okay and you're going to see that 32 basically that 32 dollar level it's going to line up pretty nicely with the top of this channel kind of for a level we can look for on that breakout which lines up pretty nicely with this previous resistance level okay so that is silver just tweeted this and make sure to follow me on twitter but the most important level this week is crude oil right if you look at crude oil this level was support and yeah look at this support 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 okay broke through resistance resistance support resistance 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 and that's the level we're coming up into so keep your eye out okay on crude oil this kind of level right here which coincides with the 50 percent fibonacci retracement of this entire down leg right so let me just paint uh this let me do this like this trend line white so this entire down move right here okay this is the 50% fib that yellow line 75 75 that's the key level to watch um, if it's going to be shortable again that'll be a great trade or what you're going to want to look for is a break above a retest and a long trade okay so keep an eye out for that potential opportunity okay so that is just a, probably the most interesting level of the week um china you guys know i'm um, short here we finally broke through broke through the rectangle i'm looking for the completion back down to 18,000. 
Not sure if we'll get there, okay? Um, you know, I'll probably take profits before then. Again, let's draw some FIB extensions and see what we can come up with in terms of some other targets. You can see the ABCD lines up perfectly as it should symmetrically with that 1618 at 18,000. But those first targets are gonna come at 18,720, okay? If we look at the SMP, okay, it is, you know, it found, it obviously found buyers right here, okay? And this was, um, a little earlier in the week, this is the four hour chart. So that was this week. Um, you saw the triple bottom with divergence, right? Red dot, fresh red uh, tags, fresh red dots. You expect lower lows, reject the EMAs, you got lower lows, but the bulls came in to defend it, pink dot. So selling momentum waning, triple bottom, no dot. Okay, so that's a triple bottom with tremendous divergence on both the Jupu and the Dorbit and stocks rose. Again, that's a breakout for stocks. And I think it looks pretty bullish if you're looking at the VIX to at least come test all time highs in the S&P. Okay, we'll see what they end up doing, but uh, you know, so far so good. And even more bullish is the Russell. And we talked about this uh, on a video two days ago, I believe. Russell, similar thing where it held this level and put in instead of a triple bottom, it put in this bu bullish head and shoulders, which means you know the S&P made a third bottom that got to the same level as the second bottom, the Russell made a higher low. That's why it's stronger, right? It still had the same divergence. It was a beautiful head and shoulders, okay? It broke through the neckline on a fresh green tag. Then you consolidated it right here, like so, and you broke through this bullish flag. So that thing is flying and small caps are flying. Add some small caps to your watch list. There's gonna be a lot of interesting opportunities as the Russell, you know, as it stays above the 21 moving average and plays in this level and stays bullish, Okay, above this, as it tests all time highs, there's gonna be good opportunities to long small caps. We talked about Tesla, so I'm not gonna talk about Tesla. Um, basically, I mean, I'm long in Tesla off this pennant breakout. That's a beautiful chart. Um, you know, you can see this maybe more clearly here. You know, it looks really good. You can see like so. That is a nice breakout and forming another tight range right now for potential continuation, right? That thing's gonna be most likely at all time highs. Honeywell, let's let's now talk about the, so we went through kind of the macro. Let's talk about the stocks and options. First, we'll do the positions we're in. So we're still in Yang and that is China, right? So the HK50 breakdown, um, that's Yang. That's the triple lever inverse ETF. It's the same thing, right? So um, remember the HK50, this breakdown and we looked at targets. Well, Yang is the triple lever ETF and I have a uh, hundred shares of that. So we're long to the upside. Okay, and so same thing. We broke out of this channel. Now we broke through this pivot and we'll see if we can continue. So that's gonna move three times as much as FXI to the inverse, right? When FXI comes down, uh, Yang goes up because it's an inverse ETF, which means we are short in China by being long Yang, okay? So that position's up about 500 bucks. Then we have Wolf. Um, and with Wolf, we have um, November 29th, which is next Friday, $9 calls. For me, Wolf is one of the most interesting stocks, especially if you're into blockchain and crypto. It's just one of the better looking stocks in all of stocks, actually. You know, everyone talks about micro strategy, fair enough, the best runner. Coinbase looks solid. People talk about Marathon, but this is the cleanest chart. It trades beautifully. You can see it trades in these pennants, has these clean Momo candle breakouts, comes up. You know, you have this down move, you make a higher low eventually. Right here, this is a higher low, you make a high. You make a higher low, which should be white right here as I switched, right? Higher low, higher high. Then you double bottom, right? Double bottom as you form this pennant. Here's the shade flip candle. You can see a green shade turns off and that should be another color, but I'll fix that later. So you can see it, but that's the shade flip. That was a nice move. We took part in that trade. Now this is that pullback to this level right here, right? That pullback to this level right here. And so this is a trade I just opened on Friday as I let the Discord know, because on the way up, right, we have fresh green, fresh green tags. So I wanna buy that pullback to the 21 moving average. We got a good response, right? Friday put in this kind of almost inside bar candle, slightly made higher highs, up, I believe. No, so we put in a nice inside bar bullish candle hold on Friday. So I'm very much excited about this position. And my targets, again, those are $9 calls. So if we can approach nine by the end of the week, those should bring in nice profits. If we can get in the money, um, that should be very nice. Remember, it's a holiday week because it is Thanksgiving. So the markets are closed on Thursday. I believe they're open Friday. I'm not sure about that. Closed Thursday. Okay, so that's that position. Right now, it's break even. UEC is another, um, I have UEC 
what do I have? I have UEC, uh, same thing, $9. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> so they're around the same price. I have $9 calls for Friday as well. It's forming this bullish pennant right now. And sorry, I, I uh, a lot of people prefer the dark colors in the comments. So I use the dark and the white charts make me look whiter too. So I'm, all, I'm down for the dark colors. Okay, so I have $9 calls. You know, $9 level is going to come in right here. I'll just paint this green so I know like this is when I'm in the money with my with my strikes. So the UEC is because we're bullish uranium, as you guys know. You know, we've been watching the ETF, of course. I made the I've made several uranium videos on this channel. Um, and you know, this was just a beautiful double bottom, right? This is you know, double bottom with divergence, right? Red dots, pink dots. You get above the moving averages, you get green tags, lower time frame green tag, you get Jupiter EMA, green tag, everything, bull flag right into here breakout breakout right and so it's been a beautiful move um here and you can see the same thing on the four hour it looks super nice um and it came all the way up made highs for the year for like the 10 year highs more than 10 year highs right february 24 and then this was that first pullback to the emas and you had this double bottom right bit of a shake out below the ema tagged red you expect lower lows but you double bottomed with a nice divergent pendulum Okay, so, you know, I, I've made a lot of uranium videos, but I haven't really ever gotten involved. I've had only one trade. So got involved with USC, which is uh, one of my favorite uranium stocks. It's a small cap. And I believe I bought these two weeks ago as we were, or a week ago as we were double bottoming on Eura. I forgot uh, when someone from the Discord can comment. And um, yeah, I mean, we're headed towards being in the money. So we need to get above nine by Friday. Um, so these are down right now, but we'll see what happens with them. Yeah, so these are down right now, but of course, if they shoot up, they should get in the money and be pretty profitable. They're getting close, right? It had a bullish week, um, so not high delta, but I'm sure I'm pretty sure we can test nine dollars. So that, that's gonna get interesting for this week. Two new positions: MU and Hun. So MU one twelve calls. This is Micron. Okay, I wanted to. Uh, I didn't feel good not being long semiconductors right semis obviously broke down bearishly from this symmetrical triangle but it really spent the whole week consolidating here then it gave us this shade flip so i wanted to place something on the semi side we also had this range right here this this kind of uh descending channel right here and this was channel support right so i wanted to get something to the long side even though you know whatever happens we might reject this area right here we might reject the trend line but it was a shade flip on socks so i wanted to play it i played it via mu now we were getting a lot of shade flips on the semi names this is a shade flip right here shade off green pendulum okay and this kind of had the lower time frame green tag lower time frame green tag so i played it here on thursday it kind of went sideways on friday and we'll see we'll see what we can do right this is 112 112 dollar strikes so we just want to test the top of this range i'm not anything too risky because there's a lot of resistance overhead i didn't want to make it you know 113 or 114 just uh just below the top of that range okay lastly we have honeywell and we have honeywell 240 calls so these all expire next friday okay so i'm looking for a bullish week for sure so on honeywell you know pretty clear this thing's been ranging right ranging 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 since all the way back here just ranging sideways and this is a pretty clean breakout right you see these highs right here whoa you see these highs right here right taken out impulsive move rising volume fresh green tag lower time frame green dog green can like all six greens <laughs> there's six greens when you get all six of them that's a pullback that you're definitely interested in okay so we got all six of them we pulled back i was looking for the 21 ema we didn't quite get there we actually held the 382 i'm okay with that especially since this is this gap support right this is the gap up we filled the gap but the gap's gonna act as support right here and the bulls came in and made a higher high I was also looking at the four hour time frame where this pullback did make it to the EMA on the four hour and it sort of broke this trend line, if you will. I was looking for a stronger candle here, but it's a nice shade flip right there. So inside bar to close the day, we'll see if that can continue on uh, on, on this week and head towards 240 again near the top or start to fill that wick. Okay.
So that's it for that. Remember, guys, we started this account with four thousand, uh, so we're up five, five, five or six thousand dollars here. Um, and I've been, when the market's pulling back, when it's been a really hard to trade week. I'm not gonna lie. And when the market's pulling back like that, um, you know, let's look at the, the U.S. You know, it's it's pulling back like this. You want to just not lose money, right? You don't have to go short. I tried my hand at a lot of shorts. I made, I probably came out about break even on my shorts um because i kept my risk small right i've i've, I've in in one or two months we've moved this account from four thousand to 10 11 12. i want to stay above 10 right i want to stay above 10 until the market gets bullish again and now that the market held this level um and the vix held that level that we talked about well, you know I'm, I'm i'm net long right now except for i guess i'm short china but i'm net long us stocks and i want to try to ride to new account highs this week but for me the goal was you know staying staying above water staying above 10k not taking too much risk to the short side you don't want to do that right unless it's a clear signal right you don't want to do that unless you're in this kind of you know like this right a breakdown a breakdown fresh red tag on everything retesting the emas and rejecting them right like you're in a bear market breakdown fresh red everything rejecting the emas with red tag on everything right when it's more of a sideways or well, i mean we're in a bull market so you, you know you can be net even you know not not long or short have good setups on each you can be net short but don't don't over risk it right same as always manage your stops manage your levels okay guys so that's that let's move on over here in the prop account we're just long silver we're long tesla and we're long um we're short hk50 okay so those are the three trades in the prop i started the new prop so hopefully we get that done quickly um and 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 start pulling some profits out of there those three positions are doing well these are the five positions in the tasty trade okay um what's going on this week this is cool pony ai and it's kind of a robo taxi company they're going to ipo this week and uber wants in so you know we can look at uber which is at an interesting level in of in and of itself um because it's it's pulled back a lot right it's pulled back stronger than the rest of the market so it's underperforming but it's at this level right here it's it has this divergent pendulum and you know it's trying to do something um you have this divergence where you have this red dot expect lower lows reject the moving average got lower lows okay just read the momentum i wouldn't get it long yet but if we can get above the moving average you know we, we have a lot of room to to 88 or towards 100 for new all-time highs so we can get a nice trade in there um depending on what happens right the four hours already above them but not even the four hour has a lower time frame green tag or a jma which i have it at 15 minutes here uh lower time frame at 60. so no need to rush uber it's been rejecting this rejecting this rejecting this rejecting this maybe it's going to reject it and double bottom on the four hour with divergence red dot pink dot no dot if we do that right if we do that then i would get in on that's where i would get in on a counter trade right and like down if we get a clean setup like that but if not we have to kind of tag green somewhere we have green nothing we have not lower time frame not higher time frame not momo dot not shade flip not jma like nothing okay give us something okay so that's interesting and for for this ipo um, it's gonna be interesting. It's a, it's a new AI company. It's a robo taxi company um, founded by these uh, these guys from Silicon Valley, Beijing, and Guangzhou, or they have operations there. Software developers from Baidu. It's called Pony AI. It's made significant strides in the industry. Okay, and they're, they're already robo taxiing in China. I know China's way ahead of us in terms of that. They have secured partnerships with manufacturers like Toyota, so that's super cool. They teamed up with Alibaba's online mapping unit, AMAP, in an accelerated push to roll out robotaxis in China. In, in one of my China videos, I, I showed videos about this. The Chinese robotaxi scene is, is freaking legit. It's, it's, it's out there. It's way ahead of us. You got buses, electri electric robotaxi, autonomous driving buses just take people into these futuristic cities. They work perfectly. They don't crash. So this is very cool, right? And it has operate fully driverless robo taxis in all four tier one cities in china the only autonomous driving technology company that has obtained all available regular super cool so that company is ipoing this week they're looking to raise at 4.6 billion so it's going to be a, a adr so it's a chinese company talking about i look at this like for an ipo base 
usually it always sells off for the first three to six months because the initial investors after their cliff their holding period they're allowed to sell they're all they're up a bunch they raised a bunch it's like in crypto the vesting period you gotta wait six months but let when the ipo bottoms that first impulse move the tax green on everything or tax green on everything that first pullback right that first pullback is going to be a nice buying opportunity to get in that and, and I, I this is a great example reddit is a more recent uh great example of an ipo base ipo don't don't trust the first move wait for that first sell-off that first impulse move and tag green on everything that first pullback and these things rip right another one is cart um instacart the super famous app so this is maple ipo sell-off wait three to six months that first impulse move, that first pullback, look at this key level, double bottom here, right? Look at this breakout, fresh lower time frame, green tag pullback to the EMAs, there's your entry. Super cool. Um, you can see the the four hour Momo candle. And so that's the entry. And so let's keep an eye out for that with Pony AI. So pretty cool new company. Notable analyst calls this week, Roku, NVIDIA, Biogen. Roku, NVIDIA, and Biogen. We've talked about NVIDIA enough. BIIB. This looks shortable. You guys know I am net short or at least short bias for healthcare with RFK coming in. Big sell off. Look for the rejection of the EMAs. And that could be a nice shorting opportunity. That's super bearish. Roku is choppy as hell. Nothing to do here. It's, it's too choppy. This is a, there's nothing to do here. Um, fresh lower time frame red tag and unfilled gap. Look for a rejection at the EMAs and look to retest 60. Trending stocks, Michael strategy, we've talked about a lot. SMTI and Snowflake. So I'll talk about those. Snowflake rose 33 after they reported a positive outlook. They announced an acquisition and a new partnership with Anthropic. Ooh, Snowflake raged, raged. Look at this, so Snowflake, big breakout. I was watching this breakout, looking for an entry. Big gap up, right? So now we've cleared this level, and so that's pretty interesting. These all-time highs are, are ways away, right? Ways away, almost at 500. And so that's a fresh green tag. And for the first time in a while, this thing has been super bearish. We'll see if this is the start of a bull trend and, and we'll, we'll look for that first opportunity to get involved um, to, to the long side, right? At least come down to the four or the one hour and wait to, to, to test those EMAs, okay? And then SMCI, which I wouldn't have touched. It was too dangerous. Okay, so it's, it's up. It's a big week, what it said 65%, 100%, wow. No, no, okay, these are still fresh red tags, like three fresh red tags, you see all the red, right? You see it, first test of the EMAs, I'd be still looking for a short here, though you have a lower time frame, fresh green tag, and so you expect higher highs, you got them. We'll see what happens. We have this notable gap, okay? We're coming up on this gap, resistance, we have this level right here, which is previous lows, Let's draw a fib from these highs to these lows, and we are testing a 618 fib. So something interesting could happen here. I'm gonna add SMCI to the watch list um, for potential shorting opportunities. So that is a trending stock, Zeta, PayPal. Okay, PayPal I wanted to mention because it looks interesting. Um, look at PayPal, right? Nice little shake up below, shake up below 21, shake up below 21, shake up below 21. Keeps making higher highs. It dips more than normal, right? Lower time frame red attack, so we might expect lower lows. But let's zoom in here and see what's happening. It seems bullish to me. There's no Momo candles. So I wouldn't take it. But look at that false breakdown on the weekly and just held. It is printing some nice weekly divergence, but it seems bullish to me. But I don't see a setup. Um, this is a nice gap up. This is a nice gap up, right? Trade down, close, gap up, hold, hold, break out. So that, that would neglect the, the lower time frame red tag. It looks pretty good, but oh, I wanna talk about Fortinet. For me, on the, on the intraday, this is the most interesting chart for me. So this is the strongest cybersecurity stock. It's at all time highs, right? It's stronger than CrowdStrike. Uh, it's at all time highs. Let's see if we can get like a, um, let's see if we can get like a revenue growth or something revenue total revenue quarterly look at this right this is a growth machine um it's at all-time highs right it's at all-time highs okay look at that retest levels watch your levels guys boom boom right boom right okay so fresh the, the point is super strong impulsive move this thing shot up on this move you know 27 percent, which is ridiculous and now on the four hour it's looking nice because it's, it's a fresh everything it's come all the way back and it's kept green here it's kept green here no lower time frame green tag okay so 
There's no Momo candle or anything yet. So look for, you know, watch this closely. Either retest double bottom, shade flip, Momo candle, break out through the pivot, something, right? And then, you know, you can target the highs again. You know, maybe get some $100 calls, $99 calls. Um, Going to be a super interesting play. Um, if you ask me, that's where I'm focused. Um, that's why it's on my watch list this week. Okay. The other thing about Wolf, which we spoke about earlier, why it's the most interesting uh, blockchain stock, Stanley Druckenmiller has um, a position in Wolf in his hedge fund. So he's been building up a position in this and you can see how strong it is. Another small cap is A-Lab, which I should have on my watch list. It's been good to us with the profits. I mean, it continues to gap up and, and go, right? And now it's over 100. And we bought this on the weekly shade flip, guys. We bought this at $43. Obviously, I sold into the EMAs at 55. I made 10, I made 20% or so, um, which, yeah, we rejected it for one week, but then boom, this thing just shot up. Um, and there's the IPO base example again, right? No matter what happens at the start, wait for the first sell off. Um, and look, maybe you get a weekly shade flip or divergent daily double bottom like so, or that first impulse move with green tags, super strong pendulum, that first pullback to the EMAs, that first pullback to a key level. Okay. Okay. And then you can go. Guys, if you enjoy this kind of video for the week ahead, if you want to see it every Sunday, let the algorithm know. Read my community notes. I've posted it several times and you can see what's happening to me on YouTube. They've been removing four of my videos so far for no reason. An Airbnb trade, uh, how to make $100 a day trading stocks, which is one of my best videos. I'm going to remake it tomorrow probably. Um, and so follow me on X and also like, comment, and subscribe so you can... Help me fight the algorithm that's shadow banning me and they're removing my videos for no reason. I know the reason. It's because I made one um, one video about the dude with the orange hair who's going to be uh, president. Okay. And so, yeah, let the algorithm know you guys support the channel. If you enjoy this kind of longer week ahead video where we go over macro, we go over uh, right, crypto, metals, macro. We go over the positions in the stock and options portfolio. We go over the positions in in the uh, in the prop account, and we go over the most interesting things to trade this week. Let me know. Right, we can even have a section on on looking at forex. Right, the the dollar, by the way, guys, and let's just do that. The dollar is super strong. It's in breakout. As long as the dollar is broken out through this trend line above the EMA, with this strong pendulum, anything goes. Bull, uh, bullish dollar. Look for anything bullish dollar, right? And so you can look for anything bullish dollar. I mean, there's some interesting breakdowns like GBP breaking down, New Zealand USD threatening breaking down. Look at these key levels. Uh, you're at the euro has been getting smacked, which is good for me because I live in Europe and I get paid in dollars. But look at the breakdowns of these key levels, guys. So you know you can continue long in dollars against against stuff if uh, if if you see setups right because the dollar is super super strong um and so let me know if you even want to do a little 10 minute forex section at the end of these videos as well love you guys peace